Hi, welcome to a tutorial on WP Symposium Pro. In this video we're going to explore the options around the menu for WPS Pro when it's first installed. So I'm just showing you here that we've got our basic website and I've got two users. I've got Simon and I've got Joe Blogs. I've just changed the avatar so you can quickly see which one I'm logged into time using two different browsers. So this is Joe Blogs and you can see at the moment I've got no friends and I'm just going to set something up now so that when I come to the menus I have something to show you. So Joe Blogs here sees Simon's link, uh, likes the look of him or whatever and wants to become friends. So clicks on make friends and I then have cancel friendship request which I won't do because what I want to do is go back to Simon, refresh my profile page and Joe's request to become a friend will be accepted. So Joe is now a friend. And if I look at my friends page, I can now see Joe and when she last logged in. Going back to Joe's page, I click on profile and then friends. I can see that Simon is my friend. So the reason I've done that is so I can then use that under some of these menu settings. So just to go through them quickly, uh, friendships is just a list of friendships. It means that if someone wants to remove a friendship or you want to remove a friendship, you can. You can go in and edit um, where you can move to trash or you can add a new friendship manually if you want to actually set up a friendship between two people. All you need to do is select the first user and select the second user. And by selecting the two users and clicking on publish, the friendship between those two users will be created. It will not need to be confirmed, it will be put in place straight away. So that's friendships. Next on the menu is activity, which is a list of all the activity that has happened on this website. Here I've got three posts, three activity posts, all by Simon and all to himself. In other words, on his own profile page. But you can edit any activity and if you want to change what appears on the screen, another post was what Simon entered, and make any adjustments. Forum posts are very similar. These are all the forum posts, so there's the title and the text, and which forum it belongs to. Only keep a forum post in one form at a time, and here you can select stick to the top of the posts, make it sticky. So you can edit any forum post through the back end. Setup we will have seen before in previous videos or when you were first installing WP Symposium Pro and under each black bar are a set of options which we'll come back to in a minute but they either provide options or they provide some getting started help and guidance on setting up your pages. More information is on wpsymposiumpro.com under the getting started or the how to menu items. Core options you should run if you delete users as this will delete all the various alerts that are associated with that user just to clean up and forum is just some help and guidance if needed. So we'll come back to this in a minute when we look at alerts. Custom CSS is custom styles which you can use to change any element of WP Symposium Pro. Here I'll quickly change all of the heading tags to red just as an example of how custom CSS can be entered. There will be tutorials on customizing styles and CSS in a separate video and we'll see that in effect in a second. Forum setup we covered in the getting started installation video and it's your list of forums and you can go in and change. This will be covered under a separate video because there are a few bits and pieces to bear in mind so we'll come back to that separately. Finally alerts are a list of alerts or emails which are sent out to users because things are happening on the site that they might be interested in, namely activity being added to their profile page. So if I switch back to Joe now, because we're now friends and you can see by the way that the heading has changed red from our style change, I'm going to Simon's page and as I'm a friend I can post. So I'm Joe, I'm on Simon's page and I can post onto his activity wall. So that adds the activity and here you can see Joe Blogs has sent a message to Simon. So only Joe and Simon will be able to see this because she's targeted the message to him. Now under the alerts we have a pending alert 
pending meaning that this email is pending or waiting to be sent. If you click on it you can actually edit the email that's going to be sent you shouldn't have to but it does allow you if you want to before it's sent to edit and a variety of options which are there more for information than anything else. You would rarely if ever have to edit an alert being sent out as they're automatically generated. Okay so this is now pending and it's not being sent out. Um, if I click on pending for example it will list them as pending and there's other options there about removing alerts just to clear things up. So if I go to setup and click on alerts this is where I can set up the schedule of how often emails are sent out and by default they go out every hour. That may not be often enough for my social network so I'm going to change that and I'm going to change it to every two minutes. This is in seconds so I enter 120. So I don't overload my server or I get issues with my hosting I'm going to set 25 as a maximum to be sent out. Summary email is an optional email that can receive a summary of email alerts that have been sent out to all the users. This is purely for administration purposes if you want to keep an eye on the number or content of emails being sent. I'm going to leave that blank but I'm going to put in a name where the email comes from which is sent to users and also an email address no reply email address for example because it's for information only and that's the email that users will receive. If you want to you can send a test email and that's it. So I can go back to alerts now and have a look and see the alerts are now pending. It's waiting for the next schedule run which is every two minutes and shows who it's going to go to and currently still pending. If I now click on all again, we've now passed that schedule and it now shows the date that it was sent to the user. So you've got an audit trail of all alerts that are sent out. OK, so that's the default set of WPS Pro menu items. Please check out the other video tutorials for more subjects. Thank you.